the Falcons. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He guns it to the left. Very good tackle in space. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. He's at midfield, and down he goes, around the 44-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear him down. Complete, he's got room, and they make the stop at the 38-yard line. That'll make it second and four. He's going to try and scramble. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Selling his block and then getting out on his route and making a nice catch for a good game. Kill, kill, kill. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Three yards to pick up the first down. Red two, go. He might not be able to get the pass off. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 25. Excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down. Baylor could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. Three nothing, Baylor. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. The Falcons, in talking with them this week, Kirk, it's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. Set! Red 18! And he's tackled around the 50-yard line. Oh, the big fella finally gets the chance to get his hands on the ball, and he can't even get to the line of scrimmage. Come on, big man. is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Third and long. Ball on the 45. It's a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. Oh, excellent punt. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. Baylor is up by three. And he's level at the 11-yard line. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Watch 36. 36 is the mic. And he's taken down at the 25 yard line. make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Booming kick. Brought down at the 41-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And they get nice yardage on that run. From their own 45-yard line, second down. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. The question is, can they keep this pace up? Though? I think that that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses, but I get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts clicking. Baylor is up a field goal. Jumped out of bounds around the 38-yard line. Three quarters remaining. Baylor's got a three-point lead. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Three down, three down. I got number 18. I got you, 18. Got the corner. He's taken down at the 47. Okay, this guy's a pretty sure-handed weapon coming out of the backfield. And he showed some more good moves once he had the ball. First down. Kill, kill, kill! Three, three. Fires quickly and it's picked off. Brought 
down at the 35. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From the 35-yard line, first down. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. Stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety. From the 31 yard line, third down. Kick is up, it's got the distance, and he splits the uprights. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Three, three tie. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. An interception cut this offense last drive short. So I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Tackle made around the 33-yard line. It's the tailback. Nice game as he works the right side. himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Gets out to around the 32. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Here's the eighth play of the series. stopped immediately. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. And they'll 
fail on fourth down. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. You know, Brad, that time the defense brought the blitz, and I think it confused the offensive line. It's one thing to pick up the blitz, but you also have to be accountable for the defensive lineman, and that time the lineman got to the quarterback and came up with a sack. Hands on his left hand. They got him behind the line. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play call. We got third and long here. Ball on the 15-yard line. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. The Bears use their second timeout. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kurt. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think the well, offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. I know that this quarterback and wide receiver were very confident they'd be able to execute this play. It works all week long in practice on this play. The problem is the wide receiver got too close to the boundary. This didn't give himself or the quarterback's throw much of a chance to make the reception. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. And don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Some steam on that throw. He's hit and taken down. The Falcons, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Signals for a fair catch. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 21. Tipped away. It's very disruptive to a quarterback's rhythm to have his passes batted down like that. Nice play by the lineman. And this one is a beauty. He's to the 40, and he has it on the corner. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He unloads it. Intercepted. It's the sophomore corner. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. From their own 44-yard line, first down. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. And they make the stop at the 46. The defense really cranked up the heat there. Give those guys all the credit for forcing a desperation pass. Under pressure. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. 
but they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. Flips it, middle to the running back. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Fires out to his wideout. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set and he comes in with his dime packing. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has again that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap pick when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A look at the first half stats would tell you that neither ground game was very effective. Less than three yards per rush. Both teams though continue to try to run it. When you're not having success, how important is it to still maintain that physical nature, keep trying to run the football? I think every team's different, but when you got teams that have balance, I think those are the teams that you see are more successful. You make the defense honor the run. Now listen, if they continue to stop it and they continue to put eight guys in the box, I think you got to pick your spots when you want to throw on first down. You can't be predictable and run it every single time, and you got to be a little bit balanced, but it definitely pays dividends later in ball games if you stick with the run throughout a whole game. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio with the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Heading into the third quarter now. Time ball game. We're set to resume play. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He makes it to the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Here we go! Lost the ball, come on! Picks up the loose ball, nice run there. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. Ready. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line. Number 15 with the tackle at the 36-yard line. That makes it first and 10. And they'll get him in the backfield. Loss of two by the halfback. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 34. Seven-yard line. 
And down he goes at the 26 yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. From their own 26 yard line, it's second down. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the 36 yard line. offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. He gets out to about the 11 yard line. like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Touchdown, Baylor! He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. That is a clutch touchdown high game and they find a way to put it in for six. I know there's a lot of time left, but that was a big one. And he tacks on the extra point. It was an eight play, 73 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He sends this one deep. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bears continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's to the 40. Makes it to the 44. First and ten. Ball on their own 44. Hey, watch, watch number 86. Watch 86. Ready. They go with the run. Brought down at the 45-yard line. to maybe the 46-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Throws complete, he's hit right away. He 
he fights forward to about the 46. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. Well, the offense looked like they wanted to bounce the ball to the outside. This defense just has too much speed. It did a good job of shutting off the edge and preventing the ball carrier from getting to the first down. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guys covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. Here's the give. He's tackled right around the 40. Makes the tackle. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Baylor is up a score. Kill, kill, kill! Green nine! Green nine! Now he's scrambling. Tackle made at the 36. Gain of four yards. That makes it third and three. Nice run to the outside. Smart call here to trust your line and the ball carrier to gain the yards they had to for the first down. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. Baylor's lead is a touchdown. We're back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Roger, Roger! Watch 36. 36 to Mike. I'm going to run you over. I'm going to run you over. One yard loss for the halfback. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. Hey, hey kill, 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 kill! Another run. And down he goes at the 15. He has some room. That makes it first and goal. He's on the run. He's got the corner. Touchdown, Bears. He makes the PAT, an eight-play, 53-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bears have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. There he goes. Makes it out to about the 39. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Red 18. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 43. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's a team of four. That'll bring up third and two. He fights forward to around midfield. 
Gain of three on the play. First down. Ready! Green, 88! Green! He's under some heat. Now he tries to buy some time. And he shoved out of bounds around the 40-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Here we go! Right. Check, check! Fire! He scrambled. They bring him down. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Just under three to go in regulation. They'll make the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Fourth and long here after the sack. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. He makes it to the 38-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Air Force will have one timeout remaining. They come out on an empty backfield. Here we go, here we go. the stop around the 28 yard line they had a long long way to go and the receiver managed to just get enough to pick up the first down back five, back five. Two, so the old catter gets two maybe three yards that's, that's good, good for a gain, a gain of, three of three yards, yards. That'll, that'll make, make it second, second and seven. seven second down seven yards to go ball in the 25 just over a minute in the fourth quarter Fights forward to about the 23. to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Air Force, his coaches have got to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, and the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. And he's going to come up with a sack. The spike will stop the clock. That brings up third and 14. Third down, 14 yards to go. Ball on the 21. Here we 
go! One. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. That was actually pretty good defense, but a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. Pitch out, got the corner. He has some room down the sideline. And he scores. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Absolute roll, 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for them. They punch it in for six in the last series. Can they do it again? Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up, try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 24-10, Bears. And the Air Force Falcons. Ten That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.